When he goes to other uh, hadith, 200, and he sees 100 hadith, 3,000 hadith from X, the same guy, he doesn't have to go through the hassle of asking every single day. He would just place a check mark. This guy is honest. I already checked him out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So done. I understood. I understood. That That's why you could authenticate okay, so, thousands of hadith so, even a day. Okay. F okay. F first of all, let me just say it, it has. I thought it, it it has nothing to do with the character of you people. I'm just making arguments. You are obviously intelligent and good people. Ali, I know Zir is very intelligent and good person. What I'm trying to say, the problem here, sir, is that the the level of claim Islam makes is political and, and it demands a certain kind of, context, of conviction in the limits of let's dismantle democracy or let's execute people. And the evidence, what, what I'm trying to no, say... No, 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 okay. no, 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 hold on, hold on. I have to interrupt here. Uh, yeah. Do you remember what I said before? No, 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 one second. Do you remember what I said before, okay? When I discussed narrators in details and specification, I asked you, when you questioned, but how can you be sure of it? How do you know Bukhari was right? Now you're widening the circle and, and saying, no. your claims in Islam is X, Y, and Z. Sir, Don't sir, with the care... No, 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 sir, no, you had a flood, you have a flawed scientific method and you demand people, people to be executed. What is the flaw? Based the on, on this, the flaw, yes. the, the things you're discussing. Showing the flaw. Don't, let me, don't let me tell you the flaw, sir. As, as much as you, you like to uh, romanticize this <laughs> method, this method cannot possibly be accurate because it, we know in the in, in let me explain why sir because we know in our days how, how difficult is to authenticate a paper there are scientists with modern technology that have all this they can identify the 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 ink they identify the paper they identify all these kind of methods let me let me let me finish sir and even with the modern technology with internet they they have they they have co uh, Al algorithms, algorithms with uh, programs, and they make two years. They make two years, sir, to authenticate us to authenticate a single text, and even then they are not sure. What you are like us to believe is some kind of okay, uh, okay. Uh, he said that he's reliable, therefore he is reliable, and then uh, there are one thousand. Okay. The other okay. What I'm saying is okay. this is let's let me, let me, let me conclude, conclude, sir. I let you, you are not being fair, sir. I, I let, no, no, you lied about what I said. Okay, okay. You just so, lied about what I Okay, what I'm saying, sir, is that, okay, I can get this, mm -hmm. but this kind of method cannot substantiate, cannot back up the level of conviction Islam demands in, in politics. Okay, you cannot say because of this method, Al-Bukhari started doing when he was 16 years old. He went, I don't know, with a camel and asked, People and then people they said ah he is reliable and then he saw this paper uh, this paper says that uh, three people uh, uh, narrated that ah therefore three people narrated that and the, okay so with this kind of method which is flawed not because Al Bukhari was not honest it was flawed because those days we didn't have the technology to do this kind of research. Okay. Okay. I, I, but, I, no, no. But, but wait, okay. wait. No, 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 wait. You, you are choosing flawed technology. The technology you're appealing to, okay, of today, can never verify it, whereas this method can. No. What you're asking for is what can't, okay? No. Your requirement, okay, debunks the argument. Okay, Why? You, you, it's your requirements. Okay, doesn't fulfill the claim you want. If you authenticate, if you look at the paper and you have all the research you want mm -hmm. from now until the end of the earth, yeah. okay, that research will tell you exactly how tall and wide the, uh, the the paper is and how old it is. It does not give a shit about that that fingerprint from. 3,000, 5,000 years ago. It won't tell you if it's actually from Ibn Abbas or Abu Huraira or whoever wrote it. It doesn't tell you any of that. It's literally taking a ruler to measure someone's weight. 
so, okay. so you, you see the issue here? Yes, but you say that you... you You're you, appealing to a rule. Yes, but you... Okay, sir. You are relying to hearsay, in other words. Hearsay. No, it doesn't. Because it is... No, no, it's not hearsay. That, that's actually fallacious. Because what we're doing, okay, is uh, authenticating people. We're studying the biography of people, okay? It's not hearsay. Some of it is in writing, okay? Some of it is... But okay. when you go and you ask a professor, no, no, when you go ask a professor, okay, you're citing that professor. It's not hearsay. Hearsay is without reference. When I cite a professor and I have evidence give me an that, an enemy of Islam, sir. Give me, give me an enemy of Islam that you take as a source. Give me an enemy of Islam that you take as an authentic source. Give there sir, are, there are, listen, uh, listen to no, my second, there are, but if you, if the claim, if the claim yes. is that the people, okay, who were enemies of Islam became Muslims, then that is a logical claim to ask, let, because no, remember no, what happened? Sir, sir, let, no, 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 one second. No, 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 let me ask you a, I'm, a, a I'm, direct I'm, question, I'm, sir, let me ask you okay. a direct question, okay. I want a source, okay, because one of the re requirements in the, the authentication of the hadith is someone being a good Muslim. Isn't that right? Yes or no? One of the requirements, uh, let me repeat what uh, I'm saying. Yeah, one uh, of the requirements. Muslim, yes. yes. No, 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 not, uh, not a good Muslim, okay? A Muslim. It's by that, no, no, by that, okay? We uh, mean me this, someone this who is honest and someone who is no, good. No, 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 honest, being a good Muslim, sir. Part of the requirement is to be a good Muslim, is to be an honest person. No, 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 no. Okay? It's, it's not to, it's be, to be, sir, answer my quest, question directly. One of the requirements of the authentication of hadith is to be a good Muslim. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Game over. No, no, no. You must understand that. Game over, sir. Game over, sir. No, no, no. I'll, I'll game over. I'll debunk you right now. I will debunk you right now. Okay. Huh? Yes. I, will, I will shut you up. You don't understand what the Th meaning of hadith sir, is. First of all, when you are talking, no, no, sir, no, no, first of all, you need to know something. First, you lied about what I said. Sir, there are first, of all, first of no, all, you need to learn, learn something. Oh, wait, wait, when you are no, debating no, with no, me, no, sir, when you, you are keep lying. I'm making you, I'm no, making you Socrates, favor. Socrates, you keep lying to I say. Okay, continue. The hadith, the hadith are the sayings of the prophet. I'm taking yes, it oh easy with you, sir. The hadith are yes, yes. sayings of the prophet, right? Okay? Sir, I'm there are hadith that are not from you. the prophet. There are hadith from other enemies of, uh, of the prophet. What? The, the definition me. of hadith... Yes. It's something you don't fucking understand. Give me the enemy Stop of the prophet that, that, that son of Tati Kadi. Now you need to do now. Socrates. 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 Calm down. Socrates. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, yo, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, whoa, sorry. We, on, we got excited. Yes, for no reason. Yeah, no, okay, no, sorry. Listen, listen, sorry listen, about that. You did. Sorry, you sorry. Wait. I apologize. I'm lying. We, we got listen, uh, listen, excited listen, for no reason. Can I say something? Can I say something? The only yeah. reason... Okay, look. The only reason you guys... No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, stop. I know you're going to give a biased opinion about this, but let's be fair here. I'm let's put a, a time to... Bro, 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 <laughs> bro, bro, literally all I'm saying is, listen, let's have a normal discussion. Right? That's literally okay, what I was about thought, to say. I what thought, are you talking about? Yes, we I got over-passionate. I apologize for that. I I, bro, I, I know, apologize. I know. Just... Okay, look, guys, yeah, just keep it down a notch, right? Yes, of course. Let's just be respectful, right? You know what I'm saying? We are both passionate. How about we do a time debate? Yeah. Okay, you know what? Actually, that would be great. Anyone here want to volunteer for a time? Yeah. Someone can time the discussion? Who wants to do that? Yeah, yeah but a short time, please, time, please because I cannot remember many points. Can we do it one minute, please? Because it's, I okay. cannot remember many okay. points. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, Ali, 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 do you, you agree to that? Are you good, bro? Sure. First of all, we, we, before we do that, I would like to apologize. Ali, I, I know Ali is passionate because he relates to me. I'm the same thing. I'm passionate. It's, that's not a hate or something yeah. like that. We are both passionate because um, it's in our character to be passionate about arguments. It's not, uh, it's not any negativity in the person of Ali. Obviously, Ali is a good person. And I like to believe I'm a good person. So it's not about, we are just getting passionate. You know, and anyway, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. you both agree to one minute. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. So, so do you want okay, to... Okay, who wants to be a timer here? Uh, 
Okay. I will be a timer. Okay. All right. Okay. So who is starting? Yes. Let 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 me start to. Oh, by the way, to set one minute. One minute is, is weak sauce. Two minutes for each. You cannot make a point no, in one but, minute. But they both agreed to one minute because they want to remember. How about this? One minute and between each minute, thirty second break. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Because, sorry, this is my fault, guys, because I cannot remember many arguments. I have all this problem. I cannot remember arguments. Anyway, no ca problem. Okay, uh, can I start to, to set the Yes, stage? let's go. Okay. So, Socrates, your turn. Yes, my argument was is that uh, Islam makes a, a very uh, huge claim and the level of conviction Islam demands is political. In other words, he, it projects real political power in the real world. And how and where it, it based its authority? It bases its authority on the Hadith and the, the Quran, basically, and Hadith. I, my initial argument was, uh, alone the Quran, we cannot get, okay, uh, we cannot explain the Quran without the Hadith. So, then we said, but the Hadith um, nobody claims that there is a divine preservation of the hadiths. And now I made the lo ten logic. Seconds, it's over. Ten uh, seconds. Uh, ten seconds, okay. Uh, to, so, to make it two minutes, to make it two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two minutes, yes. So, sorry about that, it was my fault, guys. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, my point was that although the Quran claims to have divine preservation, and therefore you can say that it's the words of God, therefore it, it uh, it's an authority, the Hadith, therefore, it's, uh, it's people saying stuff. So what I'm saying is now, uh, according to a flawed method in my concern, now you project authority like it's an authority from God. And, therefore, and yet it's people projecting this kind of authority. That is my initial argument. And now we are investigating whether the, the reliability of the hadiths. And, and I claim that the, the method the, of the hadith is flawed. It's, it's not a scientific method. The authentication of the hadith, the method is flawed, in my, in my opinion. So that is my uh, initial statement. Great. Great. Ali, take some time, ponder. Take 30 seconds and then you're starting. No, I don't need to. I can start right now. All right, great. Start it. Okay. So here's the things. The, the first problem is with how the method is. Okay. How do we establish a, a scientific method? You're appealing to a method that didn't exist now. And that method, it actually measures something else. Okay. Which is basically the papers. When you talked about the paper, how we, they measure... Uh, how old it is and all that stuff, okay? The, when you're talking about measuring the expert or referencing the expert, asking the expert, okay? If I have a question, a historical question, I'm going to go and ask a historian. And at that time, they are the historians. These people are historians, okay? Each one of them. However, the history is specific within the narrations of the prophet. That's what they do. They all authenticate each other, okay? And they discredit each other. They don't just authenticate things. Between the 600,000 hadith that you cited, how many passed down? We have millions and millions of hadith, and you have less than, uh, you know, uh, 100,000 that has been authenticated. Now, with the method here, okay, that we talked about before, it's not hearsay. It's not just narrating a hadith and saying it is credible or it is not credible, you know, it's judging the people narrating it in first-hand basis and second-hand basis because other people also judge them. From the time of the Prophet, the companions were judging each other by honesty and truthfulness, even those who he know. Now, the question is, uh, how can you rely on sources that doesn't have Muslims? Ten By, seconds. Left. You are defining non-Muslims as unbiased, which is false. Okay, and it is actually more reliable, not the opposite. Yeah. Okay, you're done. Okay. So, <clears throat> what I like to say is that, as I see it, the the <clears throat> the science of hadith, it's mainly the fallacy of appealing to authorities. In other words, they don't investigate 
uh, whether uh, the the statements are true or the facts are true they are uh, they are investigating the people who are saying that whether they are reliable but as we know the, there is a certain bias in, in this method for example this method of the authentication of hadith it it asks it to, for someone to be a good muslim okay that's a certain bias so being someone being a good muslim that doesn't mean it gives good information that means in, on the on the on the on the opposite that means that he's biased he's not a reliable um, witness he's an unreliable witness then uh, we see in the, in the science of hadith they make psychological analysis to historical figures they can they can predict whether they are truthful how they do that they how they do psychological analysis to historical uh, uh, figures then they they compare everything with the quran so one one other aspect in the science in quote marks of the hadith is compare everything with the quran and, and if it fits with the quran so what we see is a bias method it's not a scientific method although there is some kind of method okay it's a it's a flawed method nevertheless whatever it is it cannot uh, uh, substantiate the the level of conviction Islam demands the political kind of conviction. Therefore, Ten what, what, therefore, what I suggest is that you can believe these stories, okay, but on faith, not not uh, go into politics. This is my argument. Okay, Ali. Yes. Okay. So we made different problems. Okay. Uh, so the first one, when, whenever you measure, okay, uh, something, you don't re-measure the ruler and then re-measure that measurement of the ruler and measure whether the metric itself is correct. When we, uh, when the Muslims measured the, uh, measured the Quran, okay, and it lived to the standard and it was verified and it was checked, okay, it was authenticated, now it became the standard of measurement, okay, by default. You don't have to re-establish uh, that again and again. If you're asking about a, a reliable source, technically, uh, and an unbiased, every narrator of the hadith was at one point non-Muslim, okay? And they didn't, okay, believe in Islam at a certain point. They required, okay, proof and many things, okay? some of which is being claimed there in the Quran, in the Hadith. If it does, didn't happen, they by default have themselves debunked Islam and they can no longer be part of it as biased, okay? They each individually can, okay? Yeah. So when you ask over the next period and the next period, we have to re evaluate every single year and every single generation we have to reevaluate the Quran that is simple nonsense okay you shouldn't you can't okay not because you can't physically but th there are things uh, that you should follow in authentication mm -hmm. Part of it is people, okay yes and authenticating the people is not hearsay it is studying the psychology okay of those people the biography their entire history which is beyond every measurement we have right now and no other comparable thing you could bring to it you right. can't bring any uh, comparable method yeah so can i start Sorry, now? yeah so yeah of course yeah the method the method of um, the hadith method okay is it presupposes the quran is true to prove the Quran is true. In other words, it's kind of a secular argument. So, but the Quran alone can uh, is not clear, and it's not a, dis a detailed ex uh, exposition of all things, as it claims in the Quran. So that's a con an internal contradiction in the Quran. The Quran says all over that it's it's clear and it's a detailed exposition of all things. Yet, Muslims agree that we need external factors to authenticate. To, to to understand the Quran. In that sense, if if the hadiths 
are not, uh, there, there is no divine preservation in the Hadith and you necessarily need the Hadith to, to understand the Quran, that means the Quran is not d- divinely p- preserved. So now I will go to Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari was a person 200 years after, after Muhammad, after the facts, in Persia, in a different place, who collected 102 hadiths, uh, uh, six, uh, 600,000 hadiths. That means that Bukhari authenticated about 102 hadiths a day without modern technology, without having internet, without, without having all these modern methods, scientific methods to, to see the dates of, uh, of the ink or of the manuscript and so on. So I cannot get how Bukhari, in the age of 16, he started authenticating uh, Hadiths or collecting hadiths at the age of 16. How Bukhari can authenticate 102 hadiths without modern technology, without, uh, without cars, without planes, without internet, all this kind of stuff. So that doesn't seem to me like uh, right. a, a sufficient um, yeah, m- uh, scientific method. Okay, uh, so... Or different topics? Okay, um, I'm trying to yeah. uh, understand what's going on. I can, I can remind you, sir. Yeah, the, the yeah. first one was something about the, the, the method. The Quran, yes, so, the, the first one was the method the Quran is using is kind of a circular thing because the the Quran it it assumes the Quran is true to prove the Cor- the uh, the Quran is true. The hadiths assume the Quran is true to prove the Quran is true. So. That was that was my okay. first point. It's kind of a secret. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So the first point is wrong. Okay, the you you don't show with the uh, with the hadith that the Quran. Ali, is one second. Yeah. Ali, we yeah. we we'll, we'll change this a bit, right? So since okay, so, so what we're going to do? Both of you are uh, can, are, are going to ask each other one question. Yeah, or, exactly. Or like it's, a, it's better than that. Yeah, but I need to respond to these things first. <laughs> No, what, I, what I'm saying is, you now have two minutes to talk about him saying that the Quran, uh, the, the, the uh, Quran and the Hadith. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's, it's better this way. So, Let's okay, go. Okay. <coughs> so, like, so for uh, the circular argument, okay, because you asked the question, I'm, I'm just going to answer. Uh, answer. So, uh, it don't, you don't have the need uh, the Hadith to show that the Quran is true. You just need the Quran. I don't know where the circular arm, uh, argument is in there because you <coughs> insert that the Quran is doing something which is not uh, part of its function, yeah. and we don't need it for that function. You inserted it yourself. You do the same thing when you assume that uh, what the Quran says. You said the Quran is clear, and because you need an external source to it that uh, has an internal conflict. However, the Quran itself says there are things that are clear and things that are not clear. Okay, so. I, I don't know why people yeah, keep disregarding the other half of that. If you have, a, if you want to make it and force it to be contradictory, you need to uh, actually show it is contradictory within the the Quran, not by changing the claims of the Quran. Just like the the claim of the Quran being the preservation of the text, you're changing that to the preservation of the meaning, which doesn't apply here. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, what I want to say. Right. Uh, Bali, if you want to go yeah. to on the offensive and ask him a question, you can do so. If not, then Socrates will just give his point again. Okay, so why did you uh, misrepresent the Quran and the Hadith and the Islamic science when you ask these questions? Okay, uh, honestly, Three minutes for you, sir. Yes, of course. Yeah. Honestly, what I what I uh, detected was that you say that part of the method of uh, the science of Hadith is advising the Quran. Mm-hmm. This is part of the method. So the method of the science of the Hadith is um, advise the Quran whether the Hadith is true. But then you use the hadith to to explain the Quran. So I, I see some kind of contradiction, uh, some kind of a sing, a circular argument that you use the Quran to authenticate the hadith, and then you use the hadith to advise whether the Quran is uh, is uh, to explain the Quran. That that was my point. I don't know. 
Microphone, don't interrupt. Yes, I, I don't know yes. if that what, what I'm saying is a perfect uh, a syllogism, I, I, but that, that, mm, that yeah, was my you know, problem. You know, you know, so, okay, uh, here's the thing. When you are comparing this circle argument, you're just comparing, you're making an arrow goes from the hadith to the Quran, and another arrow from the Quran to the hadith. You, you're not understanding what's okay, okay. going I, I on Okay, okay, I accept here. that, I accept okay. that. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, just to uh, explain, just a second. Okay, that you, if a hadith contradicts the Quran, if it says kill innocent people, the Quran says don't kill innocent people. Okay, that hadith cannot be right. Okay, it goes against the Quran. It says kill innocent people, thus don't go with it. Okay, what's the other part? It says here, okay, that uh, this verse says X, Y, and Z. Okay, who are these people? Okay, that, that are nicknamed this. Okay, we're not familiar with them. Okay, they lived at that time, and the people, uh, the Sahaba, had knowledge of them. We go to the Hadith, okay, which when the Prophet spoke, okay, yeah. and said the, uh, the verse, he told the people there, you know, what it means. And the people there understood what it means, and they wrote it down in masses. And we see, okay, so when, uh, when it says, fight X, X is referring to the killers or the aggressors or the transgressors. Okay, we get the word. So we're relying on the hadith, which is narrations. Okay, the hadith is records of the prophet saying. Okay, of people saying. It it expands into three circles. The circle one is the sayings of the Ten prophet. Seconds left. Circle two is the sayings of the companions and the believers. Three is the sayings of anyone, believer or non-believer. Okay? Mm -hmm. The conditions you set is for the first and second circle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, my, my next uh, question will be, uh, we know that the science of history uh, deals with probabilities. In other words, it investigates what probably happened, not what actually happened. But, uh, so, in other words, history, by definition, cannot address miracles. Because uh, it, it uh, investigates what probably happened, what not what uh, happened. Okay, so by definition, the science of history cannot address miracles. Yet we see in the in the hadiths many claims that seems that are supernatural. For example, we see genes. We 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 have a, a say of Muhammad flew flew with a flying horse to seven heavens. We have the splitting of the moon. Yet, the history cannot uh, verify those claims by definition, because history only, uh, only investigates what is probable, and by definition, miracles are improbable. Okay, so I know that that's a, a difficult uh, concept to answer in the spot. Then, my, sec my other question will be... <clears throat> no, 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 no. The, the okay. other question is, will you yeah. no. we'll ask okay. the question yeah, okay. So, uh, this is actually very simple. It, uh, there's a mistake in there. One is the current understanding. Uh, yeah, it, the secular, okay, naturalist uh, view, okay, is to say it is more uh, unlikely to have a miracle, thus we're going to uh, exclude a miracle from the passable answer. When you have people in, uh, from our perspective, and it becomes the only answer, Okay, that's a different story. However, let's play with unlikely. Okay, the claim about the, uh, what you were saying is that because it is unlikely, that means we cannot rely that it happened. Uh, thunder is unlikely to hit mu uh, multiple, uh, sorry, the same location multiple times. That is actually false, but it is narrated like it's being told all over. But just because it's unlikely, that doesn't mean it happens. If by definition, unlikely is a miracle, and we say uh, the thunder hit the same spot twice, you're going to say it is le less likely, thus it is automatically untrue, okay? And we can't authenticate it. It's beyond our ability to authenticate. Now, the claim and the requirements you ask as evidence is what debunks the claim. You're asking for a miracle to be likely in order for you to accept it, which if it becomes likely, it ceases to be a miracle, which is an internal contradiction of your requirements. Yeah. 
<clears throat> so, um, Ali, you still have 20 seconds left. No. I'm done. I, Ali, All right, Ali, if you want, you can ask a question. If you don't want to, that's yeah. okay. Okay. Uh, so, w you are supposing that the technology we have right now is better and more effective. You also use the example of requiring uh, cars and like what planes and watches <coughs> and internet yes uh, in order to authenticate hadith i would say it is the opposite it weakens the uh, the ability to find no, these things out question, question, question. No, no 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 that's the question so what makes you think it strong is strengthening it yeah. i say it weakens the claim it doesn't strong it makes it stronger so what makes you say it makes it stronger and why are you not using the like the the method contemporary to that time why you're applying our time yeah uh, first of all a uh, truth is uh, it doesn't change uh, according to to the time for for example the the argument of presentism applies to morality it doesn't apply to truth because morality although someone might say the no, the social norms etc when it comes to truth it doesn't change so truth is truth today or then um now, the, what I'm saying is that with modern technology, we have practical ways to to uh, to go f from a place to place. For example, Al Bukhari needed to ca to go with a camel. Now we have a car that can make the distance in half of the time. That o obviously helps the investigation. Now we have computers that all obviously help the investigation. Moreover, we have some kind of uh, more uh, advanced techniques that can measure the, the, that can date things, that can date the ink. And, and the most important is the, with the invention of the internet, we can, um, I can Google immediately and I can, I can compare sources from all over the world. All these things were absent in the time of Al Bukhari, who had very limited uh, means to 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 uh, to investigate. Okay, that that, that was my point. Uh, now, answering what you said earlier, sir, it was um, um, yeah. I cannot remember if you can. Rep um, yeah, I forgot what you what, uh, said earlier, but I wa I wanted to uh, to respond to that. But I yes, I, I forgot. Excuse me. Excuse me about that. Yeah. yeah, you're fine. I kind of forgot. It. Uh, it's about why you're like applying the uh, the standard of that time to uh, of our time to yeah. that time as falsifying it. Why is that falsifying the knowledge and the measurements used then? Just because, for example, we have the uh, metric system, yeah. that does not mean the yeah. the system used in the US okay of pounds of yeah. feet it okay. is automatically wrong yeah. it is a different kind of measurement and it could be more accurate measurement than oh, one oh, another oh, just okay. because it is more yeah so well, what how do you see this? yes uh, that yeah. is what i just answered what i w wanted to respond is you made a very good point about the the miracles you say so you need a miracle to prove a miracle because i would have required a miracle of evidence to prove a miracle and that makes no sense because ha in that sense, it's like like I'm saying that by definition we cannot prove miracles, and that's exactly what I'm saying, sir. So what I'm saying is not that you cannot believe in miracles. What I'm saying is that you, that you can not use miracles as a, a as a fact to then apply politics uh, based on those uh, miracles. As for the other question, I, I, it's as simple as I, I, as I explained. For example, Al Bukhari needs to take a camel to go to Mecca and make one month to go to Mecca, when in our days we can take the plane and go in for 40 minutes. This kind of technology obviously help the, the investigative um, method. That, that is what I'm saying. Okay. okay. So, uh, so sorry, we're going to do. We're going. I think it would be good to like do a, a quick uh, sum up of both of the opinions, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay. um, so uh, um, Socrates, yeah. in, in, in short words, explain again what yeah. what you believe is right now. Okay. What what I believe is uh, is the the following. What I'm saying is that. Uh, 
we don't the the authority Islam demands in from this world is based on the Quran and the Hadiths. The Quran we cannot explain the Quran without the Hadiths. So we we also necessarily need the Hadiths to explain the Quran. The Hadiths, the method of authentication of the Hadiths. Although let's say it's it's a fair investigation. I cannot say it's a scientific sufficient investigation. There are many flaws, and what I'm trying to say is that the then um, the the Islam based on those sources demands a, a very high level of authority of conviction. In other words, he says, uh, for example, let's dismantle democracy based on those evidence. The evidence, but this is this kind of evidence. Can, cannot substantiate this kind of high claim. Therefore, m- my conclusion is that Islam needs to go out of politics. Islam should be a faith, like Christianity, uh, Judaism. Uh, the, it cannot enter politics with this kind of evidence or science. You can believe in Islam with this evidence, but you can you cannot demand the whole world to be under an Islamic ruling based on this kind of evidence. This is this is my general point. Yeah. Now, my thesis is uh, basically, uh, yeah. So I'm saying that uh, what you're claiming is actually false, even by your own standards. When, you're, when I said, uh, and you also misrepresented what I said, when I said uh, you require miracles to be likely for them to be true, which means... They are. They cease to be miracles, and you change that into you need a miracle to prove a miracle, which is absolutely false. It's nonsensical. Okay. Now, what I'm saying is, you are requiring, and no, you actually are stating that just because uh, it is more convenient today that we uh, go by plane than camel, then. Uh, the method they used then of going from Persia to uh, Medina by camel is automatically uh, falsifying the like the me- other methods he used to authenticate the hadith. Th- that's be- that's literally what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You know, it somehow affects it just because it is more convenient right now. It has absolutely no bearing on it, and there is no alternative. Uh, j- m- m- measurement or scientific method that you can present, okay, that exceed, okay, this method that has been implemented in the uh, in the seventh century, okay, and it is falsifying things better than any other falsifying methods. Yeah. I forgot what the other point you mentioned. There was yeah. something important, and I, I completely yeah. forget about it because yeah. you went to. Other many uh, things. Uh, I forgot what it was. Uh, last point. At this point, I would like to take the opportunity to to apologize sincerely to Ali for shouting before. It was uh, Ali is obviously a very good person, and he made a very good argument. And and I apologize sincerely, sir, for uh, for shouting. Likewise, I apologize. Yes, I would like to I I think we uh, we we got upset because we. Uh, of, of all the mess in the chat, now that we uh, could I talk agree. more seriously. Thank you very much. He made some very good points, so I, I, I accept that and I respect that. So, okay. um, yeah. no, Socrates, um, not, uh, just to clear up some misconceptions, right? Yes. Uh, when it comes to uh, Hadith Bukhari, he, he actually he did have help from his students. Oh. So it was not like he was the one who, because you were making the point, you would have to authenticate 124 hadith a day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, he was he got help from not just the students. He got help from Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal, great scholars, yeah. uh, Ibn Kallab. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So basically, it was the work of a whole university. But the university of, of the understanding then is not the same for ours now, but it is the work of a whole group. Basically. Yeah. So so. Of course, what, what I'm pointing out is in no way to say you are right or, or Ali is right. Just pointing out that... Yeah. that, that okay, that's, a, that's a good point. I accept this point. That's a good point. Uh, 
The other thing that uh, we never addressed is that uh, are no, because there are some requirements in the hadith that define whether the hadith is authentic. For example, I think, I'm not sure, maybe you, uh, I will be corrected, that all, all the hadith that coming from the Sahaba, the, the, the companions of Muhammad, are considered authentic. Is that true? Maybe yeah. we don't know, I don't know. Yes. Th is that no, true? No, no, no. Uh, he says just because it goes, it has the name of a companion of the Prophet, that means it's authentic, no. Uh, many are attributed to them, but are not authentic. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Okay. And the other, yeah. uh, the last question I have is, um, uh, are the, is a requirement, yes, you already answered that, sir, that you need to mm. be a Muslim for a hadith to say, to be true. Because there yes, I, I see yes. some kind of, um, you know, bias. What? Bias. So, yeah. So, he, remember the three circles I mentioned? So, the yes. first one is for Islam, okay? Yes. So, right now, if you are a scholar and... Because, there are, like, the requirements is not only to be a Muslim, but also to be a scholar in Islam. So, in order for you to be a scholar in Islam, yeah. knowledgeable about Islam. So, there are people that are honest, that are truthful, that we don't take from them, that are Muslims, okay? So... The, when you're talking and narrating between the Muslims, how do you pray? Okay? How do we pray? Do we go and ask a Jewish person, how do we pray? No. We ask a Muslim who is a scholar, who learned from a scholar. We, if, they, if there's someone who is a layman in the line, we question what they say unless there are other scholars cooperating what he says. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So we're dealing with Islam. So, of course, you have to ask a Muslim. I took you, I listened and I acknowledge your answer. What what I, I, I would mm -hmm. like to point out here is a discrepancy in the method. In other words, mm -hmm. in the historical method, the more uh, yeah. the, the people, the more neutral they are, their their testimony is more is more valuable. In other words, um, yeah, I understand this concept. The more neutral is somebody, for example, Josephus was not a Christian and said something about Jesus, so his, his testimony is more valued. But we see in Islam, the more Muslim you are, the more your testimony is valued. Not necessarily always, but what I'm noticing is an error in the method. So you, you, you can the the scientific... The, the, the science of hadith consider bi bias in a sense Hello? testimonies. Okay. Your voice disappeared you 15 seconds ago. Could, could you repeat what you said before? Yes, yes, of course. I just yes. got a call. 15 seconds ago. Yes, yes, of course. The what, what I'm trying to, to say, sir, is that now I'm criticizing the method. You gave some examples mm -hmm. where this method do doesn't apply necessarily. But what I'm criticizing is, me is the method. In, in, in historicity, okay. the more uh, neutral is a source, it's more valued. In contrast, okay. in, in Islam, yes. the more Muslim is a source, it's more valued. So I see, I see a discrepancy in the method here. Yeah, so uh, I, I just want to say that be careful not to only take the being a Muslim as the only conditions. There are actually five major conditions for a uh, hadith to be authentic. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not only being a Muslim. It, I mean, it, it's actually very sophisticated and complex, and that's why you have hadith yeah, yeah. science. Yeah, obviously, so obviously. It's not. It's not. It's not only being righteous. Yeah. It actually go. It even goes into matters like having a good memory, yeah. having good grammar. Being able to write, mm -hmm. so uh, yes. just yeah, yeah. Both and, 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 yeah. Also, like uh, what the reason we trust Muslims more than non-Muslims because we know that a Muslim have made a pledge not to lie, and has yeah. put his whole faith mm -hmm. on uh, on that pledge that he will never lie. So that's why we trust the Muslims more than we trust non-Muslims. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Accept, accept and this, I this yeah, yeah. That doesn't mean every Muslim is honest, of course. That's why we say we uh, choose specific people we take the knowledge from. That has to be to the level of scholars, you know, and famous, uh, you know, personalities that we have their history. 
if you check a name probably at, uh, at a random in Bukhari or any other uh, of the Sahih books you can probably see when that any person any of the uh, guys in the chain when is he born when did he die and you could see his whole story okay w where is he? We, we use that as a size, uh, as a source for authentication, as a method. Oh, this guy wasn't in Medina when this happened. He wasn't in Mecca. He was in, uh, in Egypt at the time. We know he was in Egypt then, at that year, that this event took place. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. So we use all of these as a whole. Yeah. You can talk. Oh, so. Also, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, check my name. Check my roles. Oh, let me see. What do you see? Ah, uh, uh, Islam monothe. Uh, I'm, I'm not good in the Discord, guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, states ping, okay. states ping, Shia. Ah, Islam mm -hmm. monotheist. Yeah, you, yeah, Shia. Yeah, Shia, Shia. Yes, you are Shia. Yes, okay. Yes, okay, sir. Yes. I just yes. So I'm defending Bukhari. Oh, okay. I see. Yes, yes. Bukhari is more Sunni book. Okay, it's not yeah. an authority over me. That doesn't mean I accept every single uh, hadith. No, neither that does that mean Sunni uh, have to uh, believe every hadith in Bukhari. Yeah. Some people still, you know, try to the best of their ability check every narration and question it. Okay, and see if it's still authentic. Okay, yeah. Yeah. we still try to uh, make uh, and see different sources, not just Bukhari. We have sources that are earlier than Bukhari. Shia and Sunni both do. Bukhari simply took a collection yeah. of those books that we still have today and just collected them in, an, in a bigger book, more comprehensive book. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that doesn't mean he didn't make any errors. Okay, Ali. but that doesn't mean his method is un, uh, is biased. I understand that there yes. is a method. Okay, I understood what you said. But now, now you say that you are Shia. Obviously, Shia have different hadiths from Sunni. Isn't that right? So, isn't that contradicting? Yeah. Okay. So, so you 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 reject many authentic hadiths of Sunni. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. So. How, how this method? Because so far you were defending the method, the method of authenticating yes, hadith. I was defending the method. But, but now you, yes, you are saying that many authentic hadiths of Sunni are not in fact authentic. Yes. How? how yes. Do you, so you think so that Sunni, Sunni, Sunni no, are no, making no, errors? No, 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 no. Here, let me explain. So our method for the Shia, okay, is the same. Okay. Yeah. However. Our, uh, basically, distinctions and our criteria on who we take hadith from, okay, yeah. is even more strict, okay? In some regards, we say, this person here had, uh, you know, like yeah. some of the narrator, we question their judgment, okay? Yeah. Even uh, more than the other people who have uh, accepted it. Politics so, play, let's say there's role. someone who... Did politics, politics play no, a role? Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. It plays a role in this distinction. However, you misunderstood what that means. So uh, the distinctions are all within the religion, okay? Not within history, okay? So when it comes to politics, and how you should imagine this, and how we distinguish what the hadith are, some scholars, for example, attribute the hadith to, uh, to mean... Uh, or address a certain issue, okay? Where we understand a hadith to address different issue. That is one issue, okay, that addresses that problem. The other thing is some, uh, for example, companions, okay? Remember how you asked if every companion is narrated from a sahih? And we say no. So we say, okay, these don't match the narrations exactly. we have. Exactly. We have companions, okay, so, that are we consider more credible. The others may not be okay, liars, exactly. but they are. They you, you don't accept Aisha, for example. They yeah. could be. They could have misspoken. That's why we rely, okay. not necessarily okay. uh, depending on the many subjects we do. We, we don't. You, you trust Aisha as a narrator, 
as a um, yeah you, you you trust what i'm trying to Tell say is that, yes you you trust other people then there are some people you, that wait wait just a moment sir you you trust some people yes. that sunni consider reliable you say they are not reliable isn't that right yes okay that that contradicts what you were saying uh, because you said uh, Actually, Bukhari... it doesn't you're not lying. Ali, you're, you're let him finish Ali. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but what i'm trying to say is, uh, is that uh, before... ali ali uh, that's what yeah. it is for yes before you you said okay. you said something sir you said that we, we trust al bukhari because he had a method to understand which people are reliable yet you are now saying that certain people that al bukhari thought reliable you don't think that the Shia okay. don't think they are reliable so that contradicts what you said earlier yeah so here's the thing okay it's on specific subjects yeah. and these subjects are what they are biased about okay now when we say this this one becomes political yeah, after political. the life of the prophet yeah okay. yes so you have to distinguish between religious you're making religion into politics yeah. we're distinguishing between religion and politics uh, what, within islam what we are okay? seeing here is the limitations of people that's why i said because exactly Not, because the, yes the, you're the, the, there are limitations so, you, I think it's good. when you say they are unreliable you're broadening that definition to uh, uh, in a very very broad terms okay yeah, I, so yeah. for example Yeah, you're saying they are basically either reliable or not. There are some narrations that are uh, unreliable from people who are reliable. Why? Because it comes from mis uh, like a misunderstanding of something. So, for example, there's a hadith in uh, Sahih Muslim. Okay, this is a uh, good example. That Sahih uh, hadith, okay, has a person in there. Uh, narrating what he heard okay yeah. now that person is being corrected within the hadith by a bystander next to him yeah. okay so uh, what I, 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 kind, I kind of understood what the, the, the general concept what you are saying now okay. because my, my issue with that is because every religion does that even secularism does that They make, for example, a, a presupposition of the multiverse. They say, I believe the multiverse. So what, what I am objecting is, okay. is not what you believe. What I'm, I'm objecting is the authority you drive from those beliefs. What I'm trying to say, let me give you an example, sir. In, uh, in Sia, for example, yeah. in, a, in a very uh, moral question, very uh, significant moral question, for example, the, the question of muta, the prost prostitution, Okay, the Sia say even. Okay, let's not go about in this in this question. Let 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 me change the subject. Um, for, let let me let me make it ambiguous. Okay, let's say for for really important moral questions, from the same sources, you drive to two completely different uh, conclusions.